Hi, Cheryl Moot here, encouraging you to embrace your inner child this afternoon. And we're going to cut a snowflake using your initials. We're going to start with a square of paper and fold it in half diagonally. And you'll notice I've marked the halfway point on the bottom where I just made a little pinch fold. And I've also marked the halfway point and the third point on this other side. And we're going to use that as sort of a, a target for folding the first step. So we're going to take that point, and I'm holding my finger there to, so I get a nice crisp point at the bottom. And just going to fold that, and then fold this side up over it. I'm a little bit out there, so I'm just going to unfold and and uh, fudge that fold just a little bit. This is just to make a pattern, so a little extra crease here or there isn't the end of the world. There you go. So now you could, of course, cut your snowflake just on the fly with this, either by folding it in half again or by making nice big chunky spaces. But I prefer to uh, trace that onto a piece of scrap paper and cut out a triangle and then I can do my design work. And for this one I've used my initials C and M and just kept the lettering very basic and designed a little pattern. And then I'm going to trace that onto my folded paper. And here I've done this already, but you can see where I put the pattern. And I've just cut the shapes out with my scissors. And that one internal space you could cut with an X-Acto knife, or you can fold your shape in half and cut that out. Remember, we're just making a pattern. And now when we open it up, we have a nice big design to work with. And I could use all of that on my page, or I could just trace part of it. I kind of think that makes quite a nice pattern. It would even make a pretty quilt. So I use this technique sometimes to make simple cards. And I certainly don't want a big piece of paper like that. So I use smaller origami paper. I think that's about a two and a half inch square. And here I've made one with a very simple T. And this would get flattened and uh, glued down to the front of my card. And I could decorate around it or right behind it. And this one I've already drawn a very simple heart design on. And I'm just going to quickly cut that out. And now when I open this up, actually that was the center, there we go, that's the actual design. But I'm realizing as I'm opening this up that that is going to make a really nice open shape, but I'm also going to get that center and be able to use it as well. So both of those could get glued on the front of the card or into my journal and I could work around them. So now it's your turn. Time to get out your paper, embrace your inner child and get cutting.